And if you're wondering, yes, it hurts a lot. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Okay, grab test with the jumping choya. Here we go. One, two. What's going on everybody? I hope you're ready to have a little fun with us on today's video. We are back here in the Sonoran Desert, one of our favorite destinations in the Southwest. And today, we're gonna perform a little bit of a test. We want to find out who is the sharpest cactus in the West. And our first contender is right here. So before we get started, let's just state the obvious. In the Sonoran Desert, you're going to find all sorts of spikes and spines and cactus. There are four species that we're going to be looking at today. The barrel cactus, the saguaro cactus, the prickly pear, and of course, we couldn't crown the spikiest plant of the West without introducing our good friend, the choya. Ah! But we're starting here with the barrel, and before I get into the spiky parts, let's talk about this plant in general. They are round, squatty, and they have hooked barbs. If you come in closer here, you can see all the main barbs are hooked. In fact, I can actually just put my hand there and that's gonna be part of today's experiment. We're going to rate the spininess and spikiness of each cactus with two tests. The finger test, and then we're going to do what I like to call the grab test. A palm squeezing test to see just how sharp it would be if you were to try to pick up one of the cactus. But I wanted to start with the barrel cactus because this one is actually one of the more friendly variety. When you brush up against a barrel cactus because of the hooked barbs, you actually don't get impaled right away. You get a little bit of a warning. So this cactus is just saying, hey, leave me alone. I'm here, but go on about your business. I don't want you to stick around. Okay, it's time for the first test. Nothing. See that right there? Ow! Never mind. He got me. First blood. <laughs> well, what I was about to show you is that you could press as hard as you want on the reverse barb because they're blunt on the end, but on the underside, yep, you can get a pretty good snag, but I'm sure that's gonna play out just fine for this video. So let's go for the full grab. Ah, ah, yeah, got me. Okay, the barrel cactus, Certainly a formidable contender and a good first opponent on today's spike challenge. On to the next. Okay, here we are with contestant number two, a pretty big cactus if you ask me, and I would argue that this is actually the king of the cactus. The saguaro endemic to the Sonoran Desert is probably the most famous cactus on the planet and likely the cactus that pops into your mind when you even hear the word cacti. And I could tell you many, many interesting facts about this cactus, but that's not what we're here to learn about today. Today, we wanna to take a closer look at those spines. Whoa, do they mean business. And I guess this is the point where I need to test the sharpness. Let's go with the touch test. Ready, got that shot? One, two, three, ah! You know what? Not quite as sharp as it looks. I have an impression, can you get that? But no blood. It's okay, the grab test. You guys ready for this? One, two, three. Ah, yep, very sharp, but no blood. That blood's from the barrel cactus. You don't get credit for that one. There we have it. The saguaro, even though the spines look very sharp and intimidating, no blood. All right, on to the next. Okay, next up to the plate, contestant number three, the prickly pear. Now, if you've seen our video where Coyote infamously wrung out prickly pear juice from his dirty socks, the zombie juice video, then you'll know this cactus is notorious for its beautifully red pears. And unfortunately, right now it's out of season. Later this summer, there'll be flowers and it will actually start growing those pears again. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about those spikes. Holy cow, does this cactus mean business? I mean, every single pad of the prickly pear is covered in various spines and tiny little spikes in between. Now, 
Because of that, I'm actually going to flip the challenge on this test. I'm going to do the grab test first. And when we're all said and done here, you will understand why. It's time to put the prickly pear to the spike challenge. Whew, those look sharp. One, two, three. Ah, oh yeah, oh yeah, those are digging in. Uh, 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 ah, that did not feel good at all. A couple little spots of blood, but not too terrible. Definitely sharper than the Suaro, but that's not the worst part. Oh boy, this is what I was not looking forward to today. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Yep, you see those? These finer spines easily detach. And if you can, ah, yeah, they hurt coming out too. They have reverse barbs, so they stick in really well. Ah, that one, I got a couple little spines left on there. So they're very brittle and they break easily. Even removing like that, I've got a few tips left. Okay, salute to you, prickly pear. But we are on to probably the fiercest competitor of the day. It's time to go see spike test number four. Okay, we all knew it was going to come to this. Contestant number four, the jumping Choya. This pesky nomad has been a burr on our side every single expedition the Brave Wilderness team has had in the Sonoran Desert. And today, unfortunately, is going to be no different for yours truly. So let's talk real quick about what makes this such a fierce contender for the spikiest cactus in the West. First of all, you'll notice that literally every square inch of this plant is absolutely covered in spines. And if you look closely at these spines, you'll notice they're pointing in every single direction. And yes, I could tell you right now, those spines are sharp. And they're more than just sharp. They actually have what is called glochidia all over them, which are reverse facing barbs. So when they spine into you, they're stuck there. And in order to get them out, you need to rip them out. And I am not looking forward to this next test. Ready? One, two, uh, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. That's exactly what I expected to happen. And you can see the Glochidia working, doing their magic. It's almost defying gravity, sticking into my finger with just a simple touch and I didn't even have to touch that hard. And if you're wondering, yes, it hurts a lot. So it's now time to remove this Choya from my skin. You guys ready? Can I use a multi-tool here? Ready? One, two, hold my breath. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yep. Look at that, I even got a little blood going. My poor finger, man. It has had quite the afternoon, but we are trying to figure out the sharpest cactus in the West after all. But before we do that, we have one more test. Okay, grab test with the jumping Choya. Here we go. One, two. Actually, I've got a better idea. I think this plant deserves a real finale. Check this out. Good, good. Hey, to, oh. to your left, Mark. Ah! Oh, watch out for that one by your leg. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, how far am I? Halfway through, Mark. Ah! Come on. Dude, I'm stuck. I'm freaking stuck. Ah! Yeah, that was wild. You want to see the rest of that video? Check out the link in the description below. But before I sign off, we need to rank who is the sharpest cactus in the West. Okay, coming in at number four, the saguaro cactus. Although they're tall, spiky, and absolutely iconic, this spiny plant proved to be pretty dull at the end of the day. On the touch test, I give a sharpness rating of one out of five. On the grab test, a little bit sharper because there's more spines, but still pretty low. I'm gonna give it a two out of five, giving it a total score of three out of 10. Coming in at number three, the prickly pear. The grab test, of course, was a little bit underwhelming, but still fairly sharp. It drew a little bit of blood, so I'll give it a two out of five. The touch test, however, is the truly painful part of the prickly pear, 
And even though the spines aren't that big, they are super, super irritating, giving this cactus a touch score of three out of five for a grand total of a five out of 10. Coming in at number two, the dark horse of the pack, one that I completely did not expect to register on the scale at all, the barrel cactus. On the touch test, I actually got cut. I couldn't even believe it. So I'm gonna give it a sharpness factor of four out of five. Now the grab test admittedly was a little bit more underwhelming, but I was so impressed by the sharpness of the interior spines, I'm gonna give it a sharpness factor of three out of five, giving the barrel cactus a grand total sharpness of seven out of 10. That's a pretty sharp plant. Really didn't expect it to grab the spot. Finally, your winner, taking the crown of the sharpest cactus in the West, none other than the jumping Choya. Not only fierce in appearance, this plant really means business. It is incredibly sharp, the touch test, easily a five out of five. And as you saw in that epic finale, the grab test, oh man, it is almost lethal. We're gonna give it another five out of five, locking in the champion, the sharpest cactus in the Sonoran Desert, a 10 out of 10, a perfect score for the Choya. Well, that about does it for us. I hope you guys have enjoyed this spiky exploration of desert plant life on today's video. Make sure to click that link in the description below if you want to see the rest of my Choya Maze adventure. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> my finger and I need a vacation. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Forward, ah. Mark. Hold How straight. close? How close? You're right there. It's right ah. in front of you. Ah. You oh, made, I feel the table. Ah.